This is a river sluice. We use it to find gold. But today, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm at the Rocky River in Urala in New South Wales. My brother Chris is helping me make a video and we've come just upstream a little bit from the campground and we found a nice rocky area. This place is known as the Woolridge Fossicking Reserve, if anyone interested. The area is known for gold, plus all kinds of gemstones, sapphires, diamonds, garnets, topaz, aquamarine. Oh, I found a wicked spot to dig, right under all these big rocks. There's some really nice gravel coming out. We've come to where the creek has really tightened in, so it's actually almost impossible to get the classifying done here. So what I'm doing is, I'm digging it out, and my brother, with his hands, is taking the bigger rocks out of the sluice. It works just great like this, we've tested it in other videos. A couple of rules to take note of when you're in New South Wales, there is no high banking, and your river sluice can't exceed one metre long. You also need a fossicking permit, it costs $27.50, and can cover up to five people, two adults and three children under the age of 18 years old. G'day, old Keith. Keith is such an inspiration. He's got MS. He comes down to the creek to get his body moving. After he's collected the dirt, he'll run it through his homemade sluice. Good on you, buddy. One of the best things about gold prospecting is exploring new creeks. And I've spotted the first garnet. Wow, look at the richness of that colour. We are traveling, so we don't have fancy cleanup equipment, and you're not allowed to use a powered sluice even to clean up. So, this is what we're stuck with. We're doing panning at the creek. Every little gemstone, too, is very precious to me, so I grab them out and I stick them in my mouth and I spit them in the pan at the end. This is the gold I was able to collect. It's not a lot, but really happy with this for a new creek. But here's the real reason we came to this creek the crystals and the gems. That was a garnet, a clear quartz, we've got a sapphire. The pink one, it could be a zircon, it could be a diamond, I'm not sure. Any of these clear ones or small ones could be diamonds. You just never know, we're going to have to get them tested. A one carat sapphire weighs 0.2 of a gram and can be worth anywhere from $500 to $1,500. This one is just a clear quartz, but wouldn't it be nice if that was a diamond? Wow. And I've still got all these to go through. Wow, there could be a thousand gemstones in this pan right now. How am I going to pick all these out? Oh my God. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit follow. I'm trying to hit 10,000. And if you think someone else would like the video, don't forget to hit share. All right, everyone, have a great weekend and I'll see you on the creek. I hope you get to wet a pan soon.